Somali President Mohamed Farbaju has called state leaders back to Dusama Reb to try and get national elections underway. He has called for consultations to take place February 1st through February 3rd. Farmaju has called the National Assembly to meet in an emergency session Friday to consider the results. ADN TV's Darren Farner has more on the President's call to action. Only one week remains until President Farmaju's mandate expires. Even with his latest attempts to forge an agreement with his political rivals, it appears time will run out. Many fear there will be opposition claims of an illegitimate government. Formaggio appears to be doing all he can to show Somalis that he has tried to get the vote executed on time. The legislature is already performing its duties beyond its constitutionally specified term. The president's invitation to do Samarev brings to mind the negotiations that started there last June. They led to the September 17th electoral agreement. Formaggio says that pact is the framework for new discussions. Somalia's leader is walking a fine line between showing his strength and pushing his opponents to find new ways to defy him. By calling for face-to-face -face meetings, he is showing his willingness to negotiate but he doesn't want to be seen being pushed around by State President Saeed Deni of Puntland or Ahmed Madobi of Jubaland. Deni just completed his own consultations about elections with various groups in his home state. It would appear that he is preparing for the talks in Galmadug, where Dusamareb is located. United Nations Head of Mission James Swan has been in Kismayo meeting with Madobe. The UN and other international partners have been trying to push the conflicting parties together without interfering with what should be a Somali process. UNSAM issued a statement praising the expected meeting and calling for leaders to find a fair compromise. Opposition presidential candidates have held a meeting in Mogadishu to discuss the Dusamareb initiative. The group, led by former President Sharif Sheikh Ahmed, issued a statement. They welcomed the upcoming consultations with state leaders, demanded to be included, urged them not to let Formaggio stay in office past February 8th, and rejected the president's Saturday signing of the law to add 13 senators from the Benadir region to the Senate. The law was passed last June by the parliament. ABN TV will post updates from Dusamareb as a deal to hold Somali national elections takes shape.